The white background represents the dark energy field. The pulsing represents the electromagnetic distortion around all matter, like two atoms. The electromagnetic distortion pushes dark energy away from matter on a gradient and makes all matter appear to have an attraction towards itself. Gravity can be defined as the electromagnetic force that matter exerts on the universe on dark energy that causes a dark energy field effect, or gravity. You can scale this up from atoms all the way to planets and suns and even black holes. Anything that creates gravity is actually not pulling things into itself like a gravity well more. It is pushing dark energy away, and in doing so, dark energy is pushing harder on the side with the least distortion. As the fields touch each other, it creates a path of least resistance, and the two objects are forced together by the stronger dark energy field on the side with less distortion, giving matter an attraction towards itself. It's dark energy that causes an attraction of matter towards itself that creates gravity. A lot of people are doing nothing more than getting huge, huge quantities of mass and see if they can get a, a gravity wave to cause things to move. Mm -hmm. Well, that isn't what, what we're talking about at all. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wondered if gravity could be uh, related to its cousin magnetism. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I found that when I take two magnets together, I have some neodymiums around here that I'm actually afraid of. They, they're so they, can, they, can, they can danger you. Mm. But anyhow, you take a magnet, you go to put them together and go, and they go clunk, right? Mm. But you take one of them, move it around, and all of a sudden, it doesn't want to yeah, go right. together. Yeah, right, the repulsive. So I got, uh, I had, I ordered one at $5,000 a piece wow. with, with, with a quarter inch hole through between both of them. And I put a brass bolt and I tightened them down, forcing them together. Mm -hmm. And then I put them together in a thing that looks kind of like a rock. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I got another one that didn't have magnets in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Galileo, in in all his endeavors, he went up to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And dropped the... And he dropped a big rock and a small rock. Mm -hmm. And his buddy down at the bottom kept telling him that the large rock, rock and the small rock arrived at the same time. Well, I went up to in, in the Lockheed Building 501. Mm -hmm. by the side of escalators and, and elevators. Oh, wow. And I got nine guys that were not educated and didn't have pre, didn't have pre opinions on anything. Mm -hmm. And I dropped my two rocks. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, fall. what I would like you to do is, I told them what I'd like you to do is I would like you to take whichever one arrives first, get it in your hand, and when I come down the elevator, hand it to me. Mm -hmm. Now they looked identical. Except for... So, uh, and nobody knew what was inside? Not, it? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. All the nine times that I tested it, it's as though the one with the opposing magnet field extending out mm -hmm. three feet on each side, I actually measured how, how far, big the field is. How big the field was. And on each side of, a rock, the, of one rock, I had a total of six feet. At any rate, the other, the other rock where I first... Which one arrived first? The, the, one, the one that had no magnetic field in it. So you were able to cancel out gravity to a certain degree. You were able like to that? cancel, Precisely. reduce the mass gravity effect. Precisely. By, okay. op by opposing fields. Isn't that nice? You, you bet. And got nine signatures and wit. I always skip, you know. You I, did that at Lockheed? I, what what year was this? Oh, uh, at least eight years ago. This is um, the actual document of Boyd's where Mm -hmm. He proved that by altering the the field mm -hmm. in a falling body, the magnetic field, it reduced its mass gravity equivalent and canceled out the uh, effects of gravity to a certain percentage. Mm -hmm. And he did a 500, a building 500 drop test conducted from a height of 59 feet. Mm -hmm. The location is in White Settlement, Texas, and the time was 12.20 p.m. And this was in 1995, December 12th. Nobody yeah. knows this. I know it. So this gravity, is, mass yeah. gravity is not, um, well, that, it, you can alter it. In well, other gravity, words. gravity within itself has to have, gravity goes through anything that is solid and anything like iron or anything yeah. else. But, I, it's, but it has to have a magnetic component, mm -hmm. which may be canceling out within itself. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it got around my rock, yet all of a sudden recognize the presence but somebody, of my rock. Uh, one of Einstein's students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity, and mm -hmm. he rejected it. 
but he didn't have an experiment like you no, did. No, I understand. I, yeah. I, I know that. But somebody, one of my science students, students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity, and he rejected it. But he didn't have an experiment like you no, did. No, I understand. I, yeah. I know that. But somebody, one of my science students, students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity, and he rejected it. But he didn't have an experiment like you did. No, I understand. I know that. But somebody, one of my science students, students tried to merge electromagnetism and gravity, and he rejected it. But he didn't have an experiment like you did. No, I understand. I know that. But but see, we you nature never uses English. It doesn't speak. It doesn't speak any language. But yet it's talking to us all the time. Right. And the key thing is is to identify, identify what it's saying. For the past half century, the intriguing possibility of traveling to Mars in a spaceship has challenged the imagination of many men. Rocket ships of all sizes and shapes have been designed but most of them rely on an enormous consumption of chemical fuel to escape the pull of the Earth's gravity. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. But such a device is still a dream for the future. How would you define gravity could you describe in layman's terms its basic principles for us? Gravity is something difficult to explain because it's something that we essentially don't understand. It's just something that we can observe. Not much is really known about gravity. Uh, there are many theories about it, but they are just mainly theories. There's theories of gravitons, which allege that there are these, these subatomic particles that, that act like an attractive force like gravity that exchange between two pieces of matter. There is also a theory that gravity is uh, a form of wave, an electromagnetic wave. Gravity is uh, a form of wave, an electromagnetic wave. Gravity is uh, a form of wave, an electromagnetic wave. Gravity is uh, a form of wave, an electromagnetic wave. But basically, gravity is a force. It's uh, it well, it's the inherent property of matter to have gravity, a mutual attraction for each other. The white background represents the dark energy field. The pulsing represents the electromagnetic distortion around all matter, like two atoms. The electromagnetic distortion pushes dark energy away from matter on a gradient and makes all matter appear to have an attraction towards itself. Gravity can be defined as the electromagnetic force that matter exerts on the universe on dark energy that causes a dark energy field effect, or gravity. Gravity can be defined as the electromagnetic force that matter exerts on the universe on dark energy that causes a dark energy field effect, or gravity. Gravity can be defined as the electromagnetic force that matter exerts on the universe on dark energy that causes a dark energy field effect, or gravity. Gravity can be defined as the electromagnetic force that matter exerts on the universe on dark energy that causes a dark energy field effect, or gravity. You can scale this up from atoms all the way to planets and suns and even black holes. Anything that creates gravity is actually not pulling things into itself like a gravity well more. It is pushing dark energy away, and in doing so, dark energy is pushing harder on the side with the least distortion. As the fields touch each other, it creates a path of least resistance, and the two objects are forced together by the stronger dark energy field on the side with less distortion, giving matter an attraction towards itself. It's dark energy that causes an attraction of matter towards itself that creates gravity.